Hey, this is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com. We are here in Chicago, Illinois, checking out Flea's gear at the Red Hot Chili Pepper Show with Tracy, Flea's tech. And what you have here is his main bass, right? This is Flea's main bass, which we play pretty much on 99% of all songs. He likes to be used to one bass most of the time. He warms up with it in the dressing room every night. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's a modulus with pretty much a production finish on it that Flea added some <laughs> Mod Podge touches to a long time ago and has since deteriorated. But yeah, this is it. It's a great player, sounds awesome. And this is oh, what What's the pickup in that? It's got a Lane Poor pickup, which they don't make anymore, unfortunately, and we have very few of them left. And we've got the Aguilar preamp. Uh, badass bridge. Badass bridge, uh-huh. Uh just keeps the uh, the knobs taped up he there? Likes to keep them taped up. Don't touch them, get that sound, and yeah, he only touches the volume knob. And that's it. How, how does he keep those set then? Um, bass almost all the way on, treble rolled off quite a bit, just to where it starts biting. Graphite neck on it. Very stable, very bright sounding. I can get extremely low action with it, which is how Flea likes it. And you said you change those strings every day? change them every day. What kind of strings are, are, are you guys using? We use GHS Boomers and Flea has a signature set that they package up which is basically their their basic standard gauge 105 through 45. All right, cool well, let's see a couple of the other ones that he uses here and there. This beauty here is a Flea bass made in China of um, Flea's company that was making basses a little while ago he no longer does that but this one has the uh, custom Damien Hurst spin art finish on it and it's also signed by Flea and Damien and they made a limited number of these and um, he's auctioning them off for charity for his uh, music school to raise money for that. And was he uh, using this one on? He plays this one on Rain Dance Maggie and Under the Bridge. This modulus bass has the custom aboriginal finish on it. It's beautiful. He plays it on By the Way. We tune it to drop D. Other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same as his main same. one? Yeah, this one has a Seymour Duncan yeah. pickup in it, but the same um, preamp. This is backup bass, another modulus, plays really nice, nice low action. It's got the Aborigine national flag on it that Flea asked them to do, which they kindly did for us. And we like it, has the on-off switch on it, all the controls tucked away on the yep. inside. Preset, so. It takes away the need to tape them, huh? Yeah, 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 very clean. Actually, I do hand this to him on uh, Breaking the Girl, which is tuned down a half step, okay. all four strings. All right. And what else do we have here? Here's another uh, Damien Hurst flea bass, which doesn't get into the show yet. Well, it definitely seems like he, he's pretty comfortable with those modulus yeah, ones, so. Yeah. So it's a five, five string, and what uh, can you say again, what was the song that he played? Funky Monks. Yeah. Josh's six string Fender here, which is, he plays on Happiness Loves Company, in which Flea plays piano. Oh, okay. And Josh plays that through Flea's rig. And a nice shell pink finish. Very beautiful. And it's got the string mute on it, which we don't use. <laughs> so if you can't tell, we are actually moving the stage back to where it's actually supposed to be. Um, <laughs> it was front of house, and as you can see the lighting structure, we are about to end up right underneath. They assemble everything over at front of house and then push it back once the lights are set. So it's fun times in Chicago, Illinois, with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So now that uh, the whole thing has been rolled up to its actual spot, yeah. we can resume here with the amps that Flea is uh, plugging those bases into. Can you tell us a little bit about what he's using? Those are Galleon Kruger 2001 RBs. Is he using all of them? He is using three of them, and Josh uses one. And one's a backup. Yeah, and we have a spare in there. Uh, so how does he have these set up then? Pretty much one controls the whole thing and feeds two others as slaves. Just for the power? Yeah, yeah. And what are those running into? Those are running into the uh, cabinets up on stage. We have three 4x10s and three 1x15s. Those are all... Those are all, all and Krugers. They're all running? 
they're all running. Yep. You get pretty loud up there? It's pretty loud, yeah. It's yeah. a pretty punchy rig, yeah. Cool. But once the PA gets going, you'd be surprised how much that gets out, yeah. drowned out by the PA. I mean, it's, it's loud, but not as loud as it is out in the house. Just a handful of pedals. You want to tell us uh, kind of what they are and what Flea uses them for? Well, we have our bass master here, which is Maleco. It's a great pedal, great fuzz distortion pedal. That's his new favorite. Then we have the MXR microamp, which he uses as a clean boost, just for some of his slapping and any time he needs to do like a lead or anything where he needs that little extra bit, that gives it to him. And we have our Electro Harmonics Qtron envelope filter, which he uses on a few songs here and there and sounds really nice. Which songs? Um, we use that on uh, Sir Psycho Sexy. And then we have the Mooger Fuger 12-stage phaser, which he likes to play with every once in a while. It has no, yeah, it's the fun pedal. It has no set place. So you're saying he mostly uses the boost? Mostly the boost and the distortion. Yeah, those are his two faves. Um, and then you're powering it with the Voodoo Lab yeah. pedal power tube. Uh-huh, works great. I love it. Cable-wise, are you using anything, any particular cables? Um, not really, no. Whatever, whatever plugs whatever. everything together? Yeah, we like Megami cable. Okay. Oh, I build all my own looms and okay. use switch graph cables and connectors and Megami cable. And then uh, he's using wireless units, right? Uh -huh. Sure, wireless, yeah. About as simple as it can get, yes. you know. We like to run things simple here. And well, well, you do. You guys do. Josh over there, yeah, a little yeah, less so. A little bit different story <laughs> over there. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> well, you, you've got the easier job, I think, then. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for taking some time to show us through You're the rig welcome. here. This is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com.